I get requests every day to do a video on hand kneaded bread and I thought of doing when I have time. So I'm going to do a smaller quantity of basic bread dough to show you how to make the hand kneaded bread. It's really simple and easy. You need to put a little bit effort when you do the hand kneaded bread, but it's much better and it looks the same as the machine made bread too. So let's do it. There is a small process of making hand kneaded bread and I'll tell you how to do that step by step. First, these are the ingredients that we need to make the hand kneaded dough. For that, I have 180 grams bread flour. You can use plain flour instead. 5 grams instant dry yeast, 3 grams salt, 15 grams softened butter, 10 grams sugar, and 100 milliliters warm milk. If you are using cold milk, add the butter to the milk and melt the butter with the milk about 10 to 20 seconds in the microwave. You will need some extra flour when you need it using hands so the butter added into the milk and now i'm going to put it in the microwave 20 seconds so if the butter is colder it gets softened like this when you warm the milk so add the warm milk and butter into a mixing bowl into that add the sugar and then the yeast and mix and leave it to grow about 5 minutes once you leave the mix outside it becomes frothy and the yeast start activating and this is how it will look like so into that add the flour half first and then mix now add the salt and mix you can do this on the bench top but it's easier to do this way so it won't stick onto your hand now the rest of the flour so mix until everything gathers together once everything gathers together put some flour and add the dough onto it so you need to use both hands while leaving your palm like this and stretching the dough from this hand so put some flour and like this we go like this and come back and while coming back you stretch it up here go come back and stretch so put a bit more flour go stretch bring it forward always like this so you need to keep on kneading the dough like this about 5 to 6 minutes continuously until it is not sticky and very soft and pliable always make sure that you do give your weight onto the dough so it kneads quickly when we do this the gluten start working it becomes less stickier and becomes elastic too there's another method that you can use you use both palms it has to be a bit bigger dough like uh, than this but you put one palm here and the other one here go in a very rhythmic way like this as you can see now now the dough is less sticky than before but we still need to work about 2 3 minutes after kneading the dough it becomes to a stage like this that it is not coming onto your fingers or the palm so knead a bit more and make a ball
put this back in a bowl, cover with a damp cloth and leave it in a warm place until double in size. So the dough is double in size. Let's make the bread. You can make a loaf bread or even the rolls so for that. Press down. If you want to make a loaf, put it in a loaf pan and as a loaf bread, if not, cut it into four. Press and make balls out from it. And press and put it on a baking sheet and put back again to double in size. How do you like your hand knead bread? You can make it sweeter adding sugar on top or when you are mixing the dough you can add more sugar in it or you can make it savory. Cut the top of the bread and put some butter in and then you can add a bit of garlic powder and a bit of mixed herbs on top and it becomes a nice savory bread before putting it in the oven leave five minutes on the bench top and bake this on 200 celsius about 20 minutes or until golden brown so this is the bread that we made and this is how it looks like. See how soft and moist it is and if I open one it's really a nice bread just as machine made. So I hope you learned the techniques and will try. See you next time.